Gary O'Kane, formerly played in the defence, uh, considered a better forward, however. And here to support him is Sean Paul McKillop. Uh, good pressure, however, exerted by the down defence, but they can't do anything about Alistair Elliott's opening effort for uh, Antrim. A very good point, well picked off. Sean Paul McKillop uh, was under too much pressure to uh, have the uh, scoring chance himself. Gave it, however, to Alistair Elliott, and Elliott had the room, and he found the range quite beautifully. First real attack of the match uh, far down. It's with full forward Jerome McCrickard. He swings it in towards Michael Blaney, who just can't quite get a stick or a hand to that one. Did very well to keep it in play to Danny Hughes. Danny Hughes uh, pops over the point. Very good work but by Danny Hughes there. Pat Gallagher looks for... Uh, turns McNaughton again with a bit of help from Gary O'Kane. And Paddy Braniff it was who tipped that away. Gregory O'Kane ha had... Uh, First run on that one, Paddy Braniff claims the sideline cut and gets it. Very nice cut by Paddy uh, Braniff down the line. Knocked back for Antrim, however, by uh, Ronan Dunley. And this 19-year-old is uh, showing well for the ball and making good use of it. And then put in by Paul Jennings, a beautiful point. Antrim have reasserted their superiority. None playing better than uh, Paul McKillen in the middle of the field, let me say. And there's a free to down, who now need all the scores that they can get. This is Jerome McCrickard, about 55 metres out from the goal. And he puts it over, and he knew it because he uh, ran away from the point of striking the second the Schlitter left his stick. A lovely summer's day in Casement Park and uh, the Antrim goalkeeper Pat Gallagher sent that from one end of the field to the other. Hughes battling for down. Mallon there too. But uh, it's Ronan Dunley, the youngster. And Ronan Dunley certainly now is vying with Paul McKillen for the star rating in this game on an individual basis. Both McKillen and Dunley have picked off beautiful points for Antrim this afternoon. Jennings won it there for Antrim, but uh, it went away from him, and Hughes on the run, along with Bailey for down. Bailey uh, threading it through towards McGratton, who is now playing top of the left. McCrickard battling for it. And there's Sands, who might be a man who could sneak a goal. He'll try for one here, surely. He does. It's uh, kept out, however. Good work by Gallagher on the goal line. McCrickard is coming again. He's fouled McCrickard. It's surely a penalty. Referee Dickie uh, Murphy will uh, speak with one of the Antrim forwards, perhaps. No, he's just signalling the free. It was outside the penalty zone, and McCrickard uh, will have to make up his mind here between the point that's uh, clearly on and the goal that might be on. Will he go for it? No. He puts it over the bar. Jennings, uh, the Antrim midfielder, uh, certainly prospering uh, alongside uh, the prolific Paul McKillen. And there's Paul Jennings as much uh, as anything. Uh, Paul Jennings, uh, his performance today has been overshadowed by the uh, excellence of McKillen, but Paul Jennings has also done well. But uh, do take note, it was McKillen who gave him the pass, and Jennings gratefully accepted the gift. Well, Antrim running hard and fast and straight and true. Alistair Elliott's turn to put over the point. That point by Alistair Elliott, the cue for uh, frustrated down supporters to leave the field in deep disappointment. They're uh, giving in now, the down followers. They know the uh, Ulster title has uh, slipped out of their grasp, that it's heading back to Antrim. Sands to Dermot Woods. Played it too short, and uh, James McNaughton, who had a very fine match, 
got it uh, got it out. Terence McNaughton getting it in towards the target man, McKillop. Paddy Braniff there for down. Put under pressure, Paddy Braniff. He'd have to go a second time. And it's knocked away from him by Gregory O'Kane to Sean Paul McKillop. And Paddy Braniff fouled his man as he tried to retrieve a desperate situation there. And it's yet another uh, point chance for Antrim and Gregory O'Kane. Well, if every day in the championship uh, for the rest of the year is as successful for Gregory O'Kane, he'll be a very happy...